Batman. Woo! I'm excited to be here and share with you why I believe in Nakima Williams. As first vice chair, Nakima made concentrated efforts to engage with folks from all over our state. And it's not just those who are elected and already involved with the party, but also in grassroots, helping activists, both new and experienced, to find, use, and amplify their voice within the party, particularly the intersectionally marginalized. Take me, for example. Nikima and I met at the 2009 Young Dems of Georgia Convention. I had just started the Young Democrats of Hall County and was really new to politics. She kindly encouraged me to reach out to her if I had any questions or needed any help. And people say stuff like that all the time, handing business cards like nothing, but this is where I first learned that Nikima does not say something that she does not mean. A few months later, frustrated with lack of access to my then congressman Nathan Deal, I emailed her for help. She responded quickly, got me the information I needed, and wrapped it up with an empowering message to stay persistent, to make sure my voice and our chapter's voice was heard. And in the end, while I didn't get that meeting with Nathan Deal, I held my first ever press conference and our actions made the front page of the local paper. This was a defining moment in my life, as it led me to discover the strength that I had and the difference I could make. Nikima helped me to find my voice and utilize it. Her influence helped me grow from an organizing rookie 10 years ago to someone who works in a national progressive organization, actively supporting campaigns and candidates throughout Georgia, and stands here now as one of your fellow state committee members. Now, I'm not here to pontificate about my experience. This is about Nikima, after all. But I think it's very important that we recognize how one person can make such a huge impact on others. And as you can see, she made quite an impact on me. Nikima is honest, real, and she genuinely cares. I know firsthand how she played a role in saving my life. I didn't have access to health care for over a decade, and a time came where I had to decide between extreme debt or prioritize my well-being. She recognized my struggle and understood my concerns. Nikima gave me support and encouragement throughout and even helped me get my first, the first appointment made. And because of her, I got affordable, accessible, and compassionate health care. Had I let my health problems continue? With the address of financial worries, it's very possible I would not be standing here to you today. So long story short, these are a few examples where Nikima came through for me, and I believe that in electing her share, she will come through for us. She is about community, speaks and acts with integrity, empowers people, and takes action, and she will continue to help our state party grow and flourish boldly and fearlessly, ready to take on challenges that lie ahead. And with that, it is my honor to nominate Nikima Williams to be your next chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia. Thank you. My name is Lewis Elrod. I'm the president of the Young Democrats of America. And, uh, so everybody, everybody's heard of the once and future Speaker of the House, right? Well, when you vote for Nikema today, you will be voting for the once and future chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia. So what some people need to remember is that during a particularly tumultuous time in this party, Nikema Williams stepped up to be interim chair of this party. And there were some people who thought she couldn't do it. There were some people who said, somebody so young can't do that, somebody so inexperienced uh, can't run the party during this difficult time, but you know what? She did it. You know what, it, there were not a lot of people who did the right thing at that time, but Nikema Williams was one of them. She stood up and she did it. And you know that experience thing? Nobody says that about Senator Nikema Williams anymore. And, uh, and with all due respect, I, I, I'm from up around Raven County, and uh, there was a candidate on the ballot, a Democrat. Her name was Deidre Howe. She ran for county commission. That is the kind of candidate that the Kima will fight for as chair. And with that, I am proud to nominate the second nomination of the Kima Williams for chair of the Democratic Party. Board. seconds off, but that's okay because I don't need a full five minutes. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Nikema Williams, and I intend to be your next Democratic Party of Georgia chair. As your next
next year, we are already in the 2020 election cycle, and I intend to move us into 2020 and beyond to make sure we are ready to fulfill the mission of the Democratic Party, and that is simply to elect Democrats. I got involved with the Democratic Party of Georgia 17 years ago, alongside many of the people right here in this room with us. I graduated from college and I was ready to move to Atlanta for a better life from Alabama. And I joined the Young Democrats of Georgia and I've never looked back since. Since I walked into that first meeting, I've continuously fought for our democratic values. Over these 17 years, I've knocked on doors, I've made calls, and y'all, I even went to jail fighting for our democratic values. <laughs> with me, stood by my side, wiped my tears when I lost my mom as a part of this party, your wisdom from my first days of a member of the Young Democrats of Atlanta, to serving as National Committee Woman for the Young Democrats of Georgia, the 13th Congressional District Chair of the Democratic Party, first Vice Chair of the Fulton County Democratic Party, and first Vice Chair of our state Democratic Party. You pushed me to step in as the interim chair. And you stood with me, like Congressman Johnson, in making sure that I had the resources to move us into a brighter day for our party. To that, I want to say thank you, because your support has made me the strong leader that I am today. The State Committee of the Democratic Party of Georgia has been my family, and together we've come a long way, but y'all, we've got a long way to go. Over the last 17 years, we've worked to revive our party, and today, I ask that you elect me the next chair of our Democratic Party to keep us moving forward. Georgia Democrats, we have to build upon the successes that we had with Stacey Abrams in 2018, because she should be our governor. And we have to finally transform our Georgia into a state where we're no longer saying that the future is blue, but we are blue. To do this, we have to be ready, y'all. My grandma raised me on a farm in rural Alabama, just outside of Columbus, Georgia, and she used to tell me, if you stay ready, you'll be ready. <laughs> and Georgia Democrats, I'm ready. To be ready, we can't keep saying we need to start our field program earlier. We have, to, we have to not move our program back and say this year we're a little bit earlier than we were the year before. And that's why I'm going to implement a year-round field apparatus so that we can keep people out in our communities year-round and talking about the issues that matter. know how Brian Kemp is failing us and what Republicans are doing in Congress and at the state legislature. There's no shortage of things to talk about and we all know that democracy does not start and stop on election day and we have to make sure that the entire state of Georgia understands that. Yeah. Having served at the county, state, and national levels within the Democratic Party, I know the financial challenges of being volunteers in all of our positions. <laughs> like you, I've paid for so much out of my pocket to be involved with this party. So to be ready, I plan to start a grant program for county parties and congressional districts and caucuses so that you can make sure that you can get the resources that you need to do the work in your community. You know what's best and what you need in your local communities. It doesn't have to come from Pullman Street. What we do is the icing on the cake. But we have to make sure that you have the resources to get it done. Those are just two of the things that I plan to implement as your next Democratic Party of Georgia Chair. And I hope to have your vote to continue moving us forward and making sure that we are ready for a blue Georgia. So Jen, Lewis, I proudly accept your nomination to serve as the next chair of the Democratic Party of Georgia.